So you might want to uh, do some research on what DNS is if you're not already sure. If you don't know much about um, DNS, uh, very, very briefly, it's the idea that if you go to a website like www.google.com, um, when you type that into your browser, your system in the background will talk to a name server and will get the IP address of that server. Um, and with home networks, when you have like your BT Home Hub or your, um, you know, your home internet provider, every time you reboot your modem, there's a good chance that you're going to be given a new IP address. So if you wanted to host a server in your house, um, you're going to need um, some software um, that will automatically update your um, DNS records with your new IP address if you ever reboot your router. So uh, let's have a look at this uh, no IP software, this dynamic DNS software, and um, let's see how it works. So in this video we're going to have a look at dynamic DNS. You might want to have a quick look at these two videos, um, a little bit about how uh, some simple networking works and how to put your Raspberry Pi online. We're going to use the software no IP, um, which is a free piece of software that um, allows us to use this dynamic DNS. So we're logging to our Pi and we're going to make a directory in our home slash Pi directory called no IP. We're going to change into that directory. Um, and then what we're going to need to do is download the no IP software. So use the wget command to pull down that um, installation package. Okay, once that's done, we can um, uncompress that installation package using tar uh, space minus zxvf and then the package name. And we can see there all of our um, uncompressed files. Um, there's a directory in there, so we're going to quickly move into the, uh, the installation directory. And we are going to need to compile the um, source code. So we're going to run sudo make, which will create as a, an installer. And once that's completed, we're going to run the command sudo make install, which will actually install the dynamic DNS no IP software. There we go. So we're just going to install the software. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us for an account. So just quickly, this is how it would work. You would just type in your uh, username and password um, and it will ask you if your interval, interval updates, how often you your dynamic DNS to update and if you want to run any scripts at any point in time. If you ever need to rerun that uh, configuration wizard, you can just run the command sudo for slash user slash local slash bin slash no IP two space um, minus C, which will rerun that wizard. So we go to the no IP um, dot com website and we're going to sign up for a free account and um, we're going to give it a username password email address and then what you'll see is we have a selection of hosts we can use um, we would want to have a host name and then a domain so we can choose one of the free domains um, I'm going to do this in a little bit in a minute to explain in a bit more detail but there's just examples of what you can have but for now I'm just going to click the button that says uh, create my host name later and then scroll down and just click basically sign up and then you have your account. So now you could rerun the installation wizard if you wanted to um, with that command earlier. Okay, so now we need to configure the dynamic DNS. So we're going to go log into our account. And we're going to go to uh, host redirects. I'm going to create our dynamic host. So you need to choose your um, basically the domain you're going to use and there's a selection of free ones um, and I'm going to use uh, no-ip.org and I'm going to put in uh, my host name or my subdomain as pybeginners.com. So that's automatically picked up my external IP address and I'm just going to quickly update my host. And you can see there that that's basically matched what's on the website. So we need to check that DNS is working correctly. And this is resolving. So we're going to use the command nslookup, which is a DNS tool. And uh, we're going to point it towards the server 8.8.8.8, .8 which is a Google DNS server that always seems to be available. And we're going to have a look up for the domain name pybeginners.no-ip.org. And we can see there that that IP address matches my external IP address. You can go to things like whatismyip.org and uh, or whatismyip.com, those type of websites, and they'll tell you what your IP address is. So we want the software to run on boot. 
So we're going to need to create a script um, that we can run as a kind of uh, service. So we're going to create a file um, by running the command sudo space vi space um, forward slash etc slash init dot d and then we're going to create the file no ip. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, take a copy of a script that I'm going to put in the description and link to that and we're going to paste that script into there and we're going to write and quit save that um, file. So basically that script will uh, will run at boot time and will start the service of no IP and we're going to use the chmod command to set the permission so it has the executable permission so it can actually run okay so if we run the command sudo forward slash etc slash init.d no IP start it will start the no IP service I'll run, basically run that script which starts the service and we can run stop which runs the script and then that stops the service The last thing we have to do is just run this command uh, sudo update rc.d no IP default and that just basically updates the system um, with that for the boot time. Okay, so if we quickly reboot our Pi um, and we can have a look and see um, that the service is still running in the background. So we're going to reboot it and then we're going to run the command ps space minus aux that will look for um, all of the processes that are running and then we're going to pipe it to the file um, command grep and look for um, no IP and we can see there that the service user slash local slash bin no IP2 is running in the background so we know that we rebooted our Pi and that is working in the background so let's just prove that this is actually working so um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stop our services so we know that the software on the Pi isn't running we're then going to go into the website and we're going to modify um, the IP address so let's put in the loopback address so basically some complete rubbish and uh, update the host so we can see that there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the um, Pi and start the services and then if we quickly refresh our page on our website we can see that the IP address has been updated so if you like what I do here, feel free to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all of my latest videos.